Welcome to Arsenal Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Walking Dead Definitive Edition. Today is episode 2, and we're going to just pick right up where we left off on the previous episode. Let's do this. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him now. Alright, so we gotta go outside and get those keys so we can get into the pharmacy. The pills are in there. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Let's see. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks. Pretty sure. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Pretty sure we already gave her batteries. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. All right, so we gotta bust the lock. I've got what we need to do that. All right, so let's just do it. Awesome. Now to distract those things. 
things carefully. Let's see, what do we got here? Brick. Okay, there's brick. Let's grab the brick. I can't reach that brick. Why can't we reach the brick? Now we can reach the brick. Yeah, that is an option. Of course, that is our only option, so here we go. Let's break the glass. I could do that if that was real life, you know? in there. Hurry. Dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. 
Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help. Please hurry! Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know that. Honey, are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! The window is screwed! Go! I found something! She's got a gun. Oh, man. Yeah, a gun. Holy! Let's go! They got Carly! That's a man! You gotta move! Wow, after everything we did for that asshole, he's gonna punch us out. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. Oh, man, I'm 
But you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Let's go talk to Doug. How you doing, Doug? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Doug? like we have much to begin with. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah. I did. I just wish you would have picked her. I wish I would have picked her too now. Man. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Did you check the oh, and then? Hey Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's a, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. 
We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Well, there goes the light. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Who fucked with us? Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore whenever you thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! Lee! Please! <laughs> wow, I'm kind of shocked that 52% of the players chose the guy, Duck. Oh no, Duck's the little boy. My bad. Gave her the gun. Yeah, okay, so 51% chose Doug over the woman. I mean, we all assume that she had bullets in her firearm because she shot two of the walkers as they came through the window. So, all right, here we go. Let's keep this going. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got shit. another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Three months later, let's do it. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. 
Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, he did. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh. Oh. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Alright, boys. There's so much blood. Please! Hey, you so, so much blood already! Please, hurry up! <laughs> you have to get him out! Uh, you have to! Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Stop, stop, stop! There has let's to be go, a way out go. of this! Come on! Try something! Cutting his leg, let's Why go. Lee, it has to be now! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking ah! leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Now! Ah! Damn. Ah! Lee, I can't keep him back forever! Ah! Oh, God! Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind! 
behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! What's wrong with you, stupid kid? Oh, really? Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Well, obviously we're going to feed the children.
Here, Clem, you need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we didn't get some food? Right now, buddy. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alright, let's see who else we can feed here. Not gonna feed. Will you hold the damn board steady? That asshole. I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Okay, so that's Doug, Mark, Larry. Fuck that guy. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright, so she didn't want food, which was odd. We already gave food to Duck. I'm gonna go get Kenny food. He's the original member here. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. To take care How's of her. it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. I am. <laughs> this is just to appease your dad, so shut the fuck up. Here. I don't want anything from you. Lily is still angry. Wow. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. We should talk to this guy, see what he's all about. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, 
But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I don't know either. It's killing me. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. All right. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. That's okay, Lee. You don't need to be saving my life all the time. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Leave it to Doug to rig up a warning system out of garbage. Pretty cool. Smart. What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kabja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh shit. Shit, it's stuck! 
I got him! Come on, boys. How long has this truck been? <laughs> okay. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Here we go. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Oh, these guys are dead. People? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You alright? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Let's go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up. 
during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? You haven't noticed. Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who are oh, they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What do we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You oh, shit! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Man, we should have took out the other guy and grabbed his shotgun. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get <laughs> stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter. That's we'll blame him on that one. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. 
All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap this episode of The Walking Dead up right here. We've made it to the farm, and uh, we will pick this up on the next episode. Thanks for staying and watching. See you on the next one.